right guys we're gonna take you on our test hike the hike we do every Saturday about 16 a little over 16 miles so let's go So this is our little shaded wooded area we start off our hike with. We have a lot of different terrain we go through. It's really a fun hike. And we're super blessed because it's in our backyard. This is like the first little peak we'd be hit. And then we're gonna hit go a little down here and flatten up a little bit. I think we're gonna turn off the camera for a minute, let it rest, because it's a long hike and a long day. I'll step on. So we really like these poles, as you can see. They give you, um, you want me to go up front for a minute? Yeah. They uh, give you some stability and help you um, uh, with your knees and stuff like that. Like it's not as hard to do the step ups and the step downs. And it really helps with my hip because um, I've you know had hip problems for several years now and was really worried that hiking on the trail is gonna be something that would be dangerous for my hip and cause it to have more pain but using these poles I'm actually able to uh, accommodate and do well and it's not a problem. So just think if you have five to six hours every weekend with your wife or husband and no one was interrupting you or calling you or anything, how much stuff you could kind of deal with. Yeah, it's kind of a requirement, right? So we've come a couple miles in, 
They're at one of our like turning ridges. It's kind of a cool scene, so we thought we'd video it for you guys. All right, come on. You go first. All right. <laughs> like a mini Grand Canyon over here, honestly. If you look, it's really cool. Get to see all that ridge. This is the horse farm down here. And back to, it's hard to get lost in Colorado Springs because you just find Pikes Peak. What's up, Jonesy? You ready for a water break? All right, take off. I'll go. Tell us what you got, Jonesy. So I'm super excited about my new water filtration system for this year's hike. It's the Catadine Be Free. It's, it's um, not hard, it's a soft water bottle. And it filters it right out of this little filtration system here. And you can just... I so couldn't you... hear you while you were drinking. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> here, let me have some. Anyway, so it has a really big mouth easy to get the water in. All of our other filtration systems has a tiny little mouth and it's like really hard to get the water in there. And uh, another really cool thing about this, water comes out super fast. So far, we haven't actually um, used it with some dirty water yet to start getting clogged up. So I'm anxious to see how slow it comes out once it starts doing that. But it's an easy, really easy way of cleaning it. You literally, like here's the filter. filter. You take it in the water and you do this and it like breaks free any um, big pieces that would be clogging it up. Stick it in and you're done. With our other one, you have to like backflow it, which is kind of a pain because you have to like try to squeeze it through when it's hard, but I'm anxious to see how this goes on the trail. All right, guys, so we've gone like two hours, had plenty of water and I gave the camera to Lynn for a little bit so we can see this from Lynn's perspective. So do you want me to go first or you want to go first? Take off. Right, Lead I'm the way. Go first for a little bit and then we'll switch it up. Sound good? Sound good. All right, let's go. Let's see how you do it. Nice. I don't know if you can see them, there's some pretty flowers. 
Oh, look at this cactus. Sometimes they get super big. You be careful if you go to the bathroom. Don't want those things to prick you. He left me. Johnsy. I was showing pictures of flowers. I bought me a pair of Eddie Bauer le uh, hiking leggings. Um, they, fit, they fit tight, but they're not uncomfortable tight, and they're up high on the waist, so they don't like fall down. They're like feel comfortable. So far, so good. They're supposed to wick the moisture. They're supposed to help you control odor, all that kind of stuff. And for my shirt, I went with a merino wool ultra light shirt, long sleeves. Um, it's made of the wool, so it's supposed to not stink. 